What's up guys and welcome back to my hardcore. We're gonna be uh well doing a couple of things. As you can see here, I started to renovate a bit. Um the little base uh house or my base house rather. Uh got a spruce and smooth uh smooth stone brick uh I don't know, facelift, I guess you could say. Um I haven't really changed anything else from the design. Uh I did make this window one wider just because it was off. And um Throw in some logs and stuff like that. Other than that, everything else inside of here is exactly the same as it was before. I believe that there was actually a wood outline. Went with brick instead. It looks a little bit better. And uh, threw some glass at the top just for uh, some sunshine. And uh, it's it's good. I like it. Uh, I've been running. I'm running real low actually on the spruce. I think this is literally all I have left right now. Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, if I do have any in storage, it's, it's probably just, uh, just a little amount. So I took off all of my trees and we're going to be making farms, um, actual, just like room farms for, uh, for all of the things that we need, such as, uh, trees, the cows, uh, separate the animals into their own stables and barns and whatever they need. You can see the, um, the villager thing is actually working out pretty well. Let's, uh, let's grab one. Uh, shh. Sure, we'll grab two, why not? Um, I didn't know that these things would actually activate every time I press the button, so maybe I'll move them. For now, they're alright. So let's see what this guy wants. One emerald for six melon. This is where I move my emeralds. I figured this is a more convenient spot. 21 wheat for an emerald. Ah, oh, I don't like you, and I don't like you. I don't like either one of you. You're both terrible, terrible things. I, I was going to say people, but... I don't know, testificates, I guess, is what they used to be called. So, uh, this is working pretty well. Uh, I did decorate it. Well, actually, I didn't really decorate it at all. I, I, I was going to, because you can get back there and stuff like that. The only thing that I did, aside from these fence posts here, is, um... It'd be easier, I guess, if I go over this way. Um, the top of the, the roof here, I put up some fence posts all the way around. And a couple more doors, because... Those were the doors that were down there, and I, I wanted to move them. Um, I put up the fence post because I had a zombie coming up here, and I literally... He broke this door right here. And um, I, I killed him right after he broke it. So he was he was about to get up there and, and get to that guy because he climbed up here and then climbed up the roof. So I just said, you know what? Better safe than sorry. Let's, let's close that puppy up. So, without uh, further ado, let's get cracking on our farms. Um, these are the last couple of spruce trees I did have planted. Because I was trying to get enough logs to start making the farms. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is move our cows over. So we're going to need to make a barn for them. Uh, I do have... I have two designs. Um... Both of which, I want to say it was Lime Studios that, that gave me both designs. If I'm... It, mm, I think it was Lime. I, I'm, I'm confused because it, it might it might have uh, been one of the other guys on the service, but I'm pretty sure it was Lime that showed me. Um, one's really compact, and, but it's kind of hard to feed them. The other one is easy to feed them, but it's more... It's wider. Um, so it does look like we're losing daylight here. Uh, I need to go grab all my gravel anyways, because this is the way um, I'm going to bring it out. I figured to the left and right here would be good places to put uh, our farms and barns and etc. Maybe cows and animals. Maybe animals on the left. Trees and crap on the right. I don't know. I figured it would be kind of cool to have a, um, a different little building for each type of animal uh, and trees. Kind of separate them, you know? I would make the farms and stuff out of the trees that are grown inside. Maybe maybe I'll label them with the with the logs. That might work. I don't know. We'll um we'll figure it out. He goes downstairs and pick up my gravel. Then I'm gonna go to bed and uh, head back out there. So see you guys here in a bit. Okay, gonna grab my potatoes there, and uh, I got all of my gravel. And uh, I am gonna have to go back to make uh, a few stuff, but I figured we can get the uh, the layout done first. Cause that's uh that's pretty easy. Just gonna go straight out. No need for fancy fancy stuff just yet. 
That seems uh, long enough. We'll go there, and I brought a bunch of dirt too, in case I needed to do some uh, some remodeling, which it looks like I might have to do in some areas, not all. Fix most of the um, the creeper holes and stuff like that a while back, so it's not that big of a deal. All right. That should be good enough to get this thing started. And um, this side is definitely going to be coming out to match uh, this level right here. This is probably going to get shaved as well. Love having the shovel for moments like this. It is kind of hard to clean up stuff, you know, when it's just uh, I just want to like break one block or something like that. But, um,. Man, when I need to clear out an area, it is, uh, it's fantastic. A lot of spruce saplings. Beautiful. I love this Minecraft song. This is my favorite one. I have good memories be uh, on it because this was the first song I heard um, going into Minecon. The first Minecon. Uh, the big convention hall when they were releasing um, Minecraft as a full version and it came out of beta so um, this was a song that they were playing while everybody was coming in and sitting down and I remember it being very surreal so I have a lot of um, fond memories of this song reminds me of Vegas I hear it's uh, Minecon is gonna be on the East Coast this year which uh, I'm not too excited about because tickets to Vegas for me flying a plane ticket to Vegas was like 150 bucks round trip because there was this airlines here that specialize in just going to Vegas and Palm Springs I think it was and it was just super super cheap and I, I loved it I mean for someone who doesn't make a whole lot of money it was awesome um, but that that's fine I mean I understand they're they're probably trying to do it in a different place each year I just I can't imagine where they're going to have it that's going to be able to host, or hold, rather, all those people. Granted, the original Minecon, they didn't expect a whole lot of people to show up, so they chose a pretty um, small place. Uh, and there wasn't a whole lot of vendors and stuff like that, because it was the very first Minecon, no one really believed in it. Like, Sponsor-wise, you know, obviously there was a bunch of people that did, because I'm pretty sure the tickets were sold out, but... Um, there was only a couple of uh, companies there. Now I'm probably going to be digging a lot of this out anyways. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll keep the, um, the barns grass. But yeah, this, uh, this episode going to be a little, a little bit more building. You know, just to try to get some uh, some layouts out in a boot or out in a boot. My bad. Working on my Canadian accent. There's, there's no reason for me to do that. So take this down since um, I didn't really need it in the first place, considering I'm not making potions and after I did it, I didn't know that you needed leather to make books, and I was just it was this whole thing. So, put that in the chest over here. There we go. Put them with the flowers. There we go. And, um, cow farm. We need to move those cows over, so let's get that going. I'm going to put another layer of dirt, and then I'll come back. I don't want this whole episode to be me just placing dirt. And, uh, it be another hour-long episode, which I really don't mind. And in all honesty, I could have cut that episode up. I just don't like doing that. Uh, I want to you know, work on one project per episode type of thing. Um, it's rare for me to work on um, two different projects. Or I don't I don't want to work... No, not two different projects. I don't want to work on the same project through multiple episodes. I don't want there to be five episodes of me building the villager thing, you know? I want each episode to be its own thing. Um, if that means longer episodes... It's 
kind of lame because it takes ages for YouTube to to process and for me to render and the upload's fine. I, I guess that part is is all right. It took me 20 minutes to upload that hour long episode yesterday. Um, that's the one thing I don't mind is the upload times. Obviously, that I pay out the ass for internet, so it's fine. I said I was gonna cut through this and I, I'm I'm rambling, so I'm gonna cut. Um, I'm out of dirt. I gotta go back anyway, so I'll take out this mountain. This mountain doesn't need to be here. Yeah, I'll do that. All right, so that little, uh, well, a little bit of the mountain is gone. Um, I was fearing that my shovel was getting too close for comfort, so I'm gonna try to chill out on that until I can, uh, I can repair it a bit because I do not want to lose this shovel. I happen to enjoy it quite a bit. A good shovel, as I've mentioned numerous times. I'm gonna take this smooth stone I got from mining that and then convert it into smooth stone brick for design. Um, which I'm sort of swaying back and forth on um, digitally and uh, and mentally. Uh, if I'm gonna go with the smooth stone base, like uh, most of my buildings here, as the common design. Or should I go with um, the logs down sideways like that? Because it is a barn, but I haven't, uh, I think I'm going to go with the smooth stone bricks, mainly because I have more of those, not enough spruce to really um, kind of just dish out wherever. So uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was simple enough. I'll go with the smooth stone bricks. I'm going to move it backwards a little bit. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. We'll go nine. Yeah, that's pretty big. That's good enough. And um, I don't really have a distinct number, but this seems wide enough yeah. per um, per animal. So I don't know why I got rid of that one. And then the entrance of the barn will probably be like right here. Get rid of that and that. And just leave those open. Or, you know, I could close them up like that later on. I think I'm going to leave it open though. Since this isn't really part of the town, it's more of just like an outside building. Also, more than likely going to keep this wide open. This side, anyways. This side will probably be, be these three right there. All right. So um, first things first, I guess, is uh, the support beams. We'll go three high. Cause we'll probably have some sort of arc. And um, maybe. Something simple like that for the back door here. And then the front here will be a little bit more, I don't want to say stylish, just uh, there we go. I wanted it leaned like that. Um, That might actually be just fine. I don't want to overdo it. Now, I think that's uh, that's good enough. Yeah, for a barn, it's not bad. Um, okay, and I guess for the walls, it would literally just be spruce planks. Probably gonna use up all these uh, just doing this. So let's uh, let's go plant some spruce trees back out here. Why not? Cause we're gonna need a lot of it. Okay, good enough. Actually, I think you could do three. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, roof uh, has yet to be decided. Uh, if I do the same design, this top row should actually probably um, be smooth brick. I'm not sure how much... Eh, it's not too bad. Again, would save me on materials and um, when we throw up the uh, the roof, you'll still be able to see the outline. Like uh, that one I had uh, up one too many and after I put on the rooftop you couldn't see this smooth stone brick, the upper one, uh, because I placed it right on top of it. I don't know why I put that there. Alright, not bad. And, uh... I kind of want to put... I'll put them, I'll put them diagonally. That's what I'll do. Um, Not, I'm sort of winging it at this point, so I'm just sort of seeing. That'll be fine. And then we'll put uh, logs horizontally between here. Doesn't need to be a big farm, it just needs to be a farm. One that, um,. Maybe I'll put in some slats here for sun. Um, did I do three on the other side? Did two. Well, that's not including this one. Technically, that would be three. So from down below, that looks good. I like it. Not bad. It's like a hanger for cows. The cow hanger. The the. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna, I'll stop there. I was gonna start making more cow puns, but then I realized I'd be going down a real dark road. Cow puns can get very evil, very disturbing and sexual all at once. That's why it's a dark road. Just don't know what you're gonna get with a cow pun. Do you cows? Man, you guys are just having the time of your life. Mm, I'm probably gonna keep four during the transition. We'll see. I'll keep all of them until I can transfer them over. Uh, I do need to make two dispensers. Well, the first one is easy. The first type of cow farm thing that I'm thinking about, uh, that I'm aware about rather, is, uh, is pretty simple. It's uh, basically a line We'll have uh, probably a line like this, and uh, in the center will be water, a dispenser that shoots out water and pushes left and right, um, pushing some cows to the left and some to the right. The ones on the right will fall into a hole in which um, they those will be the ones that get slaughtered. The other farm that I know of that uh, I will also be building, which uh, I'm now realizing this is sort of small for these two farms. Maybe, um, maybe I'll get rid of the back door. Hmm. Maybe I should do some planning first. These, these songs are really like coming in full blast this episode. Uh, the other farm, I'll come out here to explain it, is basically uh, an upper chamber like this um, that will be blocked like that and then two cows would stay inside of here and then uh, this would stay open and fall into a hole we'll just call that a deeper hole than it really is like that and um, two ca this is obviously not to spec. I'm just showing you the concept. Two cows would be in here 
in which you would breed them and their baby would be small enough to fit through here and the water would push them out into the hole. So only the babies would be able to leave and the adults would stay in here and you just continuously breed them. Um, well, as much as you can and then you gotta wait for the cooldown. But as you can see, that's um, gonna probably be about like three by four, I think. No, no, no. There we go. I can't say for certain though, because um, I've only personally built it once. And, uh, oh shoot, I don't know how I'm gonna do the cross beams with these up here. Maybe I won't. Maybe that, yeah. Think that'll do it? It's, uh, well, I'll let it hang there for a bit and I'll take a look later, or decide again later. I don't wanna do something like that. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I don't know. Uh, I'll just leave it up there until I'm done with the place and then I'll come back and see which one has grown on me more. Or just about, or just taking them back down. Who knows? I don't know. So, uh, I'm going to go to sleep and then do a little bit more brainstorming to see where I end up. Um... So I'm not sitting here thinking on camera the whole time. Okay, now, um, there's a bat somewhere below me. Might be down hidden inside the catacombs here. There he is. Piece of shit. There we go. Alright, so we have a failed attempt and a, um, and well, the final product here. Now, this is going to be the final product. Um, I decided to, uh... Well, not not I alone. Uh, Lime Studios and I, we got together and um, worked out a little bit of a design. And we're going to be going with this one instead of the complicated redstone with freaking opening doors and dispensing water and stuff like that. It's just, it's too much. And um, there was no reason to um, make it this complicated. So instead, we went with the non-redstone version, uh, or I'm, I'm planning on going with the non-redstone version. So we're going to have our two cows right here, and they're going to be jumping around inside the water, uh, going on crazy like cows do, and uh, I'll be breeding them. They'll drop their baby, uh, which will get pushed down this stream. Actually, you can't see it there. And we'll get pushed out over here. So you can see and then be thrown into the center here to where I'll let them live grow up and then uh, eventually be killed sorry plugging in my headset here <sighs> there we go and uh, by me now there was a uh, talk oh, well, a little bit of talk about if um, we should make some sort of uh, cooker or anything for that have like a separate stage for them to grow up and then thrown through a, a cooker but I said no no it's not needed uh, this is just fine in fact I'm sort of debating on whether or not to make this um, wood or what eh, wood lo looks alright kinda gives it a, m a more even flow through it um, and this is just here for a decoration basically uh, I'm gonna throw up a window in this little hole right here so it's no longer going to be a door uh, just gonna be a window to bring in light and uh, I figured I'd tear up this side and um, well <laughs> show you guys how how awful it was not well not so much show but rather destroy all of my extremely hard work that I put into running uh, redstone around and making sure it doesn't clip on itself and crap like that and I had dual sticky pistons right here it was just a whole thing and uh, my inventory is full so let's uh, pop out, out of here go to our lovely chest maybe I'll put these saplings down too 
Put some of our redstone away. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory from picking up crap. I even have some regular potatoes still. Um, I went back to the snow biome as well and picked up some ice. Just so the babies, uh, they, they slide around a little bit easier. Uh, I did not put it in the back half over here. Didn't put it over there. Uh, didn't think I needed to. Uh, the only reason I'm putting ice on the inside lanes where they actually will like get pushed out into here like I'll be putting ice here um, is because I don't want them to get snagged on the the wood so let's uh, make this place nice and pretty since we are going to be putting blocks down here now I'll go back on the outside there and fix it up in a bit. Sort that out for some ice. There we go. And then, um, water should go here and it should stop right at the edge. Perfect. Okay, that's all good. I'm throw back in our stone here. And down here, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet. I might have it a staircase. Lime was making one uh, when we were testing this out and it looked all right. Um, I'll probably push it one more ahead. Oh no, I think we'll be alright. Yeah. My, um, this side was just off a little bit. So let's put all that stuff away. Because we don't need it. Put this back down in case we do need it. And, um, there it is spruce wood. So basically, we're going to. Not that block, but this block. There we go. That, uh,. Two big blocks here. And, boop. and then I put a half slab here just to make sure that the uh, the bigger cows don't go through it. They are going to be splashing around inside of here um, quite a bit. So um, if you're going for a quiet quiet farm, probably probably not the best uh, farm to make if you want a quiet one. But I don't really care either way. It's serving its function, and that's all I, uh, that's all I care about. Although those sheep and pig next to me, they are really annoying. I, there's no way that I'm going to keep sheep that close to my house. The sheep are going to go at the very end, because I really don't need wool that bad, so. And there I go, using my shuffle and my gravel again. It's a new mistake. I, I'm sorry, I just... Making bad mistakes everywhere. Yeah, we're going to use these as stairs. But, uh, yeah, I'm very glad that I cut out all of my redstone mishaps because it, w it just would have irritated you guys so much. There we go. And then, um, no, 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 no. Do I already have a torch here? I sure do. Oh, look at this. It's sloppy. I apologize for that. Uh, there we go. Put a couple of torches there just to make sure. Hopefully that doesn't melt the ice on the end. It shouldn't. Oh, I think it did. I can't tell. If I can't... Nope, I can't go straight, so yeah, we're good. Um, it would be nice to kind of keep them in a, a different area because I know they're going to be able to jump on this block right here. <sighs> Excuse me. But that's fine. We'll deal with it. So um, right now, I think all we got to do is just load our cows up, which is uh, going to be the difficult part. So let's go. Let's go grab some wheat, and uh, we'll see how this works out. All right. So we need um, preferably one cow. So let's try this. Let's get some dirt ready. 
Maybe a bigger stack than that, just in case. Okay, one. Come on, maybe two? Maybe two? Two cows, two cows. Take out these bottom blocks first. Two cows? Two cows, that's three cows. I split you guys up here. Oh my gosh. This is the worst. Okay, fine. Three cows. Three cows is fine. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. You get back over there. You stay over here. Oh, I gotta make the second pen <laughs> bigger. Why are you all trying to crowd back up? You should be want wanting to separate yourself. Can you please get over there. Up, 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 up. What is going on? Got some weird cow lag. All right, there we go. Okay. Come on, you two. Taking you to your new home. That's right. Come on over here. Go right into your pen. Go on. Go on. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. One's in. And that makes dose. Okay, that was a mistake right there. Putting that half slab there. I now realize that. So let's go over here. We'll get rid of that immediately. There we go. And, um... I don't know how I'm going to fix this with these guys in here. Without uh, killing them. I don't want to kill them. Because uh, I don't want to lose anymore. So what we're going to do... Is that, oh. Okay, please move. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. What about if I push you out? There you go. There you go. That's it, girl. Oh, wrong block. Thank you for being patient. And letting me fix this. Now I gotta go grab your friend. He's over here. Hey. Come on. Come on. There you go. Guess where you're gonna go. You're gonna go back to the perpetual bath. You guys are gonna be pooping and peeing in this. And it's just gonna be so much cow fun. Hey, you two go. So we got two dancing cows here, and they should just jump up and down and let the baby pass underneath them. And pretty soon, you should see a little baby boy pop out. Bam! There it is. And he'll just sit in there and grow up. He can't jump over that fence. Uh, I am going to have to wait for them to all grow up, kill him, and then open the door. But that's fine. Alright, we got a system going. We got a slapper over there. What are you doing slapping about? Let's get dirt ready. Oh, come on now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Both of you. Alright. Come on. So we just need at least two in each one. Then after that, I'm I'm perfectly fine with with just keeping those two in. If I could get four in, sure, you know, that'd be good. Um, I'm also trying to push them into the furthest corner here. That way when they splash, they don't go underneath the block. There we go. All right, and there we go. These two are doing it. And then uh, a second little baby cow should come out of here. There it is. All right. So there we go. We got a working cow farm and a lovely home. Um, I probably will throw up some stairs up on the top and put in glass and stuff like that. 
And then, um... You know what, let's just kill these ones. I'm not even gonna try to deal with it right now. Alright. We got ourselves some leather too. Five pieces of leather, not bad. We're gonna have to try to get a looting sword. Um, and use it on these, these guys, cause, um... I'm not gonna be wasting my time killing these things unless I, I can get the most out of it. So looting is definitely gonna be our next bet. Uh, I'll probably do like a bunch of like, I don't know, I gotta see how, or, well, I don't know, maybe I'll start making books? I don't know. Maybe you guys can make up my mind for me. Should I keep going with like level 30 enchants, which take a good amount of time with my silly Zombotron? Or should I just do like a bunch of like level 10 books or something for like looting? Like what would be worth it to get? I, I just want to get looting right now. Obviously going for level 30 would provide me with the best, but uh, I gotta move that chest over. However, I'm just looking for looting. Looting one is adequate, you know. Looting three would be best, obviously. But um. Yeah, let me uh, let me know. To make up my mind for me, because I'm um uh, I'm uh I'm confused. We'll eat some of this newly found steak. Look at this. These are the people. This this was your friend. I was just hanging out with. Killed him. Eating him. Immediately after. That's probably the quickest turnaround on a cow. If I'm being honest. Kill a cow. Five seconds later, eat its steak. We don't have any any windows on us. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I know it's uh, it was just about the cow farm, but that's that's the thing is that each one of these episodes is gonna be sort of its own little thing. I'm tired of making really long episodes that take forever, etc., etc. I'm gonna stop rambling, otherwise this video is gonna take forever. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. No, tomorrow. Maybe S and P tomorrow. Service Saturday, then maybe a Beastcraft, and then we'll try to get going on the actual schedule that I talked about last episode. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys later. If you like this video, give it a like. Forgot to mention that. Some people forget sometimes, you know. If you don't forget, good on ya, you know. I'm, I'm rambling again. Bye, everybody! <laughs>